I don't know. We'll let. How many hours would it take me? Hello, to everyone, and welcome back to Live with Brink of Speed and Octane Hour tonight. Clarence is back with us from Sea Garner Speed 252. And of course, Darren is here. So we are going to have an amazing night talking about GM punishes their most loyal customers with this in 2024. So let's say hello to everybody. Looks like there's quite a few people in here already. We got a mill. I wonder if he's still in here. I know that comment was quite a while ago. We got the good doctor. Now that name I don't recognize. Derek Dunlap or Dunlop. Mm. Recognize that? If you're new, welcome. So Ever Jeff, I think he made a comment on one of your videos in the last week. I saw he's in a situation where he has either E Ray or a Z06 coming up and he's trying to figure out which route to go, if I remember so, correctly. Uh Kerry Glock also has that. Maybe I'm thinking it was Maybe Kerry. I think well, you're thinking tell of us, Kerry Glock. Tell us, yeah. Yeah. Um, Which I think there's a lot of people in that situation. Well, we got Ronald Jackson. Of course, Ever Jeff is on. Keith, Paul's Keith on. French is in here. Um, one of these days, Keith, up, if, Ever, if we ever get a chance to talk, Keith, um, I'm actually getting my C8 Z06 from the same dealer you got yours. And there's a funny story behind that, how I know you got yours there. Caleb is on tonight. Welcome. Uh, Randall Swanson. That name seems new. Yeah, so Ever Jeff did Joe say he was in. offered both, and he's oh, okay. going Z06, which that's a smart move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Good Doctor, AARPM. <laughs> Glass City's on. <clears throat> T. Robertson, that's a n another new one. He said I sat it on it. So yeah, like Clarence. Joey B is on. Welcome. Scott White. Hello, guys, and Clarence too. So yeah, lots of Lance Smith. Daryl Robinson. Hey, that's Daryl, I think is uh the split window. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking yeah, about you. We were you. just talking about you, man. We love you. <laughs> Black Widow. Black Widow. That's right. So, yeah, welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, if you have not hit the thumbs up button, please do so. It really lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content. So let's go ahead and go over to the desktop real quick. Um, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame Museum has this awesome Z07, Z06 that I've showed you guys in the past, but check it out. Now... Because it's coming to an end on August 13th. The giveaway is almost over. You get 40% now for your money instead of 30%. So because you're a Brink of Speed watcher, when you buy the tickets, you get 40% more. They're going to give you $25,000 plus the car. I don't think this is one if you don't want the car. Oh, yeah. If you don't want the car, they'll give you $75,000. Oh, that's but. a no-brainer. You're taking the car. You definitely are going to do that. Would you do that, Clarence? <laughs> Absolutely not. not. Exactly. So, anyway, wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, Where can I go buy some of these coupons? Exactly. Uh, right here. Uh, everything is linked in the description. So, all you got to do is go in there, click on my link, it even says like Brink 40 or something like that. Click on that link and it brings you right to that screen. Um, the last two videos that I did was uh, Corvette. No, no, no. Um, I built a CAE Ray for you guys. And I built it very cheaply, but still showed that the... E-Ray still going to beat the Z06 in a couple of ways, not just straight line speed or anything like that. But the thing that I love about the E-Ray is that you're spending so much less, plus you're getting a $9,000 set of brakes on the E-Ray that you don't get on the Z06 unless you put Z07 on it. Yeah, I want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's one video. Number two is Daryl's... Uh, Car was the star of it. It is the first split window to show up at a big, huge Corvette invasion event. And uh, it's pretty cool what he did to that car. He's got a lot of really cool stuff on it. And I like the split window thing. It, it 
To me, it looks well done. Yeah. It doesn't look cheap. To me, it just looks well done. Um, and then there's a lot of other really cool cars in that video. In fact, I think my favorite car there had to have been the C1 with the uh, LS7 in it. Oh, yeah. So cool. I mean, it's a resto mod. So it's going to drive really good. The, was that the one the guy said he had the new new frame? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. owner talked about, you know, what he did to it. And it's it's just going to be a great car. I think that was pretty cool. That was the coolest thing I saw was all the older Corvettes there. Because typically all the stuff that we go to locally, you rarely see any C1, C2, yeah. or C3s. I mean, everyone's got C7, C6, C8. Dude. Do what I call that. Do you see what Andrew from Simple Cooking Made Simple just put on there? I built an E-Ray yesterday. Is he getting the bug? I hope so. <laughs> Andrew, are you getting the bug? I mean, that's awesome if you're going to build a car and actually buy a Corvette. That'd be amazing. Um, that's cool. Let's see. Mike, you selling the Camaro? Um, not unless somebody offers me a lot of money for it. <laughs> All right, so before we get to the main topic, uh, there is one constraint on the E-Ray, which I know this guy over here has his opinion about that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on CorvetteBlogger.com, and here you see carbon fiber wheels for the 2024 Corvette E-Ray are currently on constraint. We haven't even ordered this car yet, and you can't. You already can't get the wheels. I mean, but not that how, most people. But they're are no get different it. than a Z06, right? Same wheel. Why? Why would it be on constraint on an E-Ray? I bet it's for both. You think? I mean, we are talking about Chevrolet. <laughs> uh, well, no, those wheels aren't made by you, though, right? No. By who? Uh, Where you live? I don't think so. Just the other carbon fiber. I think wheels. the other carbon fiber wheels. Wait a minute. Here we go. With the wheels of the E-Ray being the exact same as the Z06, Chevy has made the decision to make the three versions of carbon fiber wheels available for the 2024 E-Ray. So this doesn't say what I thought it was going to say. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be both the Z06 and the It has e to be. Yeah. yeah I, think the, be. I think the article is basically just stating that here we are, the E-Ray's brand spanking new, and we already have a constraint. So that's all that's doing. Right. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys. Any comments so far about what we've talked about? Let's take a look. Um, anything you guys want to say about that situation? Oh, the constraint of the wheels? Yeah. I love, love it when Chevrolet offers something that they can't actually sell. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Vulcan Construction made an interesting proposition via Steve P., He's got an allocation coming I have a up. 70th anniversary Z07 being built and my allocation at another dealer with the next within the next two months. I don't want both at MSRP. What should I do? Um, the, the 70th anniversary car, you're going to love. You're going to want to send me an email, Steve P, to bos2020c8 at gmail.com. And let's talk because I am definitely interested in that 70th Z06. So, yeah, let's talk. I also say make sure you get one of the cars before giving up your allocation because dealerships True. last minute will yeah, change yeah, something they up can. on you in a heartbeat. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh man, I thought I was getting this car to MSRP and it's I'm not anymore. True. So, wait till you get the car first before you get rid of an allocation. Right. But he might not have that option. He may, tough. Not, he may not have that option. That's tough. But let's talk. Um, anything else? Somebody said with the with the trouble that Speed Phenom had with his, uh, why would anybody want them? Um, well, he didn't really. He, well, he's talking yeah. about the carbon fiber wheels. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why you want them nowadays is because with Speed, on, Speed Phenom's trouble, Chevy actually changed and started putting the machine that actually works to take those tires off and put them back on in all the dealerships. But he did have some wear and tear, though. There was some cracking. Well, I know, but now the new machine doesn't do that. 
With the yeah, with but the, anytime you're taking your those tires off and putting wheels on, you risk damage them. I mean, there's a high probability it's going to happen. Was the cracking yeah. from taking them off and putting them on, or was it from his driving? No, it was a no, machine was from, that they were using a little bit, but also he had... It wasn't around the edges. It was in the middle. Right. Oh, I'm out. He, he's yeah, on his yeah. third or fourth set of tires, and every time, yeah. every time you take a wheel off, it's like anything. You risk damaging it, putting it on. I'm out. <laughs> By the way, if uh, if you guys see um, Great White North Corvette on here, I don't see him on here. Yeah, he probably won't be on. But okay. everything is happening with him. What, what's happening? Oh, sorry, no, I'm just thinking. Um, oh, anyway, if you see him on, let me know because uh, he was telling me the other day that he's like the ambassador for Canada at Corvettes of Carlisle now. They made him like the ambassador. That's cool. So yeah, who, it's who very is? cool. You know, uh, Great White North Corvette, Andrew. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. I was just going to tell him congratulations on that on here. So anyway, uh, let's see. Simple cooking made simple. What did he say to my question? I don't know if I will be able to find it. Not yet, but would love to. Okay, so he did answer. All right, so before we get into the main subject, I just want to remind everybody what Super Chats are for. Um, Super Chats are great because if, you know, we're reading as many of these comments as as we can, but there's so many that it's hard to get to all of them. So if you put a Super Chat out there, it puts it in a bold color, we'll read it immediately and get to your question ASAP. So it benefits you in that way. It also benefits us because it helps support the channel. So... Um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing that I wanted to talk about is the six-month no-flip Z06 policy that we all knew was put in place as soon as the Z06 came out. Some of us believe certain ways about it. Others believe other ways about it. Um, no matter how you believe about it, it was put in place so that hopefully people would keep their Z06s for six months before they sold them and GM tried to back that up with a reward to the, you know, the owner of the Z06 and they tried to punish the new owner of the Z06. If you sold it before that six month period by not honoring the warranty at all. And then the reward for the owner was if you keep it for six months, We'll give you 500,000 GM reward points, which equals $5,000 real money that you could spend at your local dealership. And that's a pretty big deal. I mean, it, it came out, everybody was like, well, that's not really worth it. But I think once people bought the car, they got to the six months and they thought about it, they were like, well, actually it is worth it because I'm about to get $5,000 in my pocket just for keeping this car, you know? You know, the other thing, and I don't know, we're probably going to head of ourselves, in 2023, last summer when it came out, they talked about you'd get uh, blacklisted if you sold the oh, car yeah. with the first mm -hmm. six months. They're not saying that anymore, are they? I don't know. I, I don't think that's so. That's a good question. And then we know people that have, it doesn't seem like that ever really right. was in play. Because, I mean, right, right. in reality, um, they want to get paid for their cars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't want to not sell you a $150,000 car. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Real quick, Ever Jeff gave the first super chat of the night. Thank you so much, Ever Jeff. He says the 2024 build and price is now accumulating the price when you build it. It also shows the gas guzzler tax at the summary page. And thank you for the heads up, Jeff. Um, I actually have that pulled up. If you guys would like, at the end of this live, we can build a Z06. I'm kind of curious to see how high we can get the Z06 price at now that we know we can get a Stingray at high 130s. So I'm betting we're going to be able to hit 200,000 with a Z06 now. Probably. I think we will. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys would like us to, we'll build one at the end of this. But again, thank you for the super chat. Uh, let's go ahead and go to number two. Um, basically just reiterating the 500,000 uh, points from GM. Again, I really think that a lot of the people that own the Z06 after having it for six months, I know you're coming up on what, three months? I got mine in April. Yeah, so you're four May, months. June, July. This next month will be your fourth month, yeah, yeah. basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, that. yeah, you're going to love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whether you wait, 
because because Darren said you got like five years, something like that to use. Are you the, sure it's five years? I have the terms and conditions in my email. You mind screenshotting and sending it to me just because oh, yeah. I have any issues with that? Because I want that five thousand. Either way, it's going to be a while that you get to keep the reward. So, since that's the case, uh, you could choose to, you know, buy some. I mean, heck, you could buy new tires for your Z06 through Chevrolet and not pay a thing. True, you I'm, know, I'll use it for that though. I mean, a ZR1 sounds pretty reasonable to me, right? So if you get the ZR1, you could put five thousand dollars down on your ZR1. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. very cool stuff. Or a truck. Or a truck. You know, Clarence loves trucks. Yeah. He almost bought one in twenty twenty. Almost did. <laughs> um, uh, David from Vulcan Construction was asking about your Venmo. If you want to flash it up. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. And hey, um, Clarence, I did find the email. Let me go Forward to. to I'm trying to bring it up here in real time. Okay. Let me uh, just blah, make blah, blah. sure I've got this on so that I can And some see. other people may have gotten this. I received, a, like, a, this is back in June, an updated terms and conditions of the GM uh, rewards program, but. So, I know there, okay. So, there's the Venmo, ladies and gentlemen. I, I always forget to mention that, but if you don't want to super chat and you want to do a Venmo, all you got to do is hold your phone up to the screen and that'll send you to my Venmo and then you can Venmo it uh, instead of super chatting. Okay. Thank you for asking about that Vulcan and I will keep my phone on so I can see when a Venmo comes in. Let me see if I've gotten any so far tonight. Okay, I'll have it right there. Oh yeah, there's Derek Dunlap wants to be friends. Okay. So anyway, um, I think, you know, you could use that $5,000 for anything. I think it's a good thing. And it, it may actually be three years. I'm, that, that's even, that I'm, works I'm, too. I'm looking at the. That works too. So basically they did reward the customer in 2023 for not selling it. But in my opinion, they rewarded the dealership more by doing the whole six month thing, because then that allowed the dealership to go ahead and charge whatever they wanted for the car. And the person just has to either buy it or not. And then they can't make any money off the car if they wanted to. So right. um, it definitely rewards the, the um, dealership more than the buyer. Well, yeah, because I mean, if you think about it, if a guy goes in a store, a woman goes into a dealership, right? And the dealership charges him a 75 K over MSRP. That customer is not going to be able to really resell that car over that same amount. It's not. It's just not going to happen. No. They're, I mean, they may be able to sell it for what they bought it for, maybe. But they're not going to be able to make a profit, which maybe. is fine. But at the same time, it's, it's allowing just, the dealership to make a lot of money and not allowing the, the customer the free ability to do that themselves. if they wanted to. Correct. So real quick, Scott White, thank you for the super chat. He said, hey, Mike, can you make some time in an upcoming show to talk about Corvettes at Carlisle? Are you planning anything for the BOS members who will be attending? My first trip to Carlisle. Looking forward to meeting everyone. Okay. So, yeah, we can talk about it for a couple minutes here. We are all going to be there. Everybody's sitting here. We're all going to be there. Neighbor Mark is going to be there. Robert from Corvette World is going to be there. Underdog is going to be there. Trevor. Trevor's going to be there from the detail lab. <laughs> and we have and we have two more people that are going to be there that you guys will just have to see when you get there. But I think you're going to realize when you get there and you see the whole setup that we have that we're going to have one of the coolest, really cool setups out there at Carlisle. So we're looking forward to meeting everyone. Uh, Carlisle, this will be my fifth year at Carlisle. My fourth. Uh, normally I'm there with this guy, so it's going to be awesome to be there with him again this year. And, uh, of course, Darren and neighbor Mark and Robert was a blast last year. Yeah, we're going to have a big spot. So it's going to be really, really great. So we look forward to seeing you guys there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so the new flipping rules for 2024. Let's talk about that. The rules haven't really changed except for the fact that now they are not going to offer any kind of bonus to 
a customer for keeping your car for six months. So now the dealership benefits even more because now they're not losing $5,000 after you keep your car for six months. So they get to make extra money on your car if you buy over MSRP and they get to keep their $5,000 after you keep your car for six months. Not cool, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. We have to play by their rules. I mean, it should at least reduce <laughs> it to 2500 at a minimum to make it worth something. You would think, but, you know, whatever. Well, you technically, you still get points proportional to the dollar amount of the car. Right. Like any other GMV. There's just no premium. Right? Wow. David Patterson. He must be the owner. Yeah, that's Vulcan. Of, yep, he's a good dude. Thank you so much for the Venmo. <clears throat> you are amazing. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. He's He sent a $100 Venmo. So he's going to Carlisle for the first time. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be Very, fun. very cool. There's yeah. going to be a lot of people there for I sure. I have a good time every time I go. Every time. Did you have a question at all that you wanted to ask with that uh, Venmo? Because we'd love to... You know, take some time and answer any questions you may have. Somebody just asked, does the regular C8 get GM points? Yes. Every, any GM vehicle you buy, you get points. Yeah, I mean, he has way more than me, but I've got like 60000 built up, I think. So, I mean, that's like 600 bucks, I think. Yeah, I think that's yeah. about right. Yeah. I think it works out to like if you're buying a sixty, seven, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 car, it's like three, dollars $400. Yeah. I mean, you probably have even more than me, too. Because you've got, I'm pretty sure you do. You'll have to look. Do you ever go on your GM app? No. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm on mine every day. I'm starting it. I'm, I'm putting the, you know, oh, the hilarious. doors. <laughs> I actually love that app. Uh, let's see. Did Vulcan construction Which is comment? crazy, Clarence, in my truck? I can start it. So we're on like the second, third floor of our building, and my parking is three floors underneath us. I can start my, my truck with my phone. Oh. With the GM app? Yeah. So Mark Kusti wanted to know if you had any luck getting the C7 front splitter. You want to tell him the funny story about that? <laughs> Was he, did he have it the whole time? No. No, I still had it. It's a C7 front splitter. I but just you thought it. I thought it was a C8 because it had the box of a C8 on it. So they sent the jacking pucks along with the splitter. Yeah. And the jacking pucks has a C8 on the front. Really? And the box oh, on was the box. Yeah, oh, the yeah, box yeah. was connected to his front splitter. Yeah. So when we got home that night, I'm looking, looking at, at it, it, looking at it. And he's actually the one that figured it out. But he's like, oh, hang on a second. I think this is a C7 front splitter. So I walked over there and I'm like, yeah, this is a C7 front splitter. <laughs> Did you guys get it installed? <laughs> no. Why didn't you get your brought tonight? We would have whipped that out real quick. Are you it's not a, No, it's not a real quick. Oh, because so, you got it different than the C8. So yeah. the C7 yeah, yeah, yeah. is rivets. So you got to drill the rivets out uh, and then put brand new rivets in. Yeah, I got pretty good at drilling those out, though. On Did the you? Yeah. You just not There's a me. trick to it. I'll tell you afterwards to drill those out. Oh, man. So we were going to install it while I was here, but I was like, uh, uh, shoot. Yeah. So anyway. Is this the app you're talking about? Yeah. It looks like yours isn't set up or something. It's been like this forever. Uh, there he is. Great white North Corvette. Yeah, we were just talking about you, Andrew. Uh, so, yeah, Andrew, congratulations on being, like, the representative from Canada at Corvettes at Carlisle. That's super cool. Um, I can't wait to see you guys at Corvettes at Carlisle. And I want to meet your friends this time. I didn't really get to meet your friends. I met your wife. Um, of course, I met John Price, which is a friend of yours, but I didn't get to meet the rest of your group. So I definitely want to meet them this time. You guys had a big group there. So can't wait to see all you guys there. It's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> did you see what Trevor said? Dude, it's so hot tonight, though. Don't put Darren to work. Yeah, we would have sweated hard tonight. Mike, I'm still waiting for the... Oh, my gosh. So Joey B is still waiting for that carbon fiber stuff. From GM. He's going on for months, seven, like four months, five months. Oh, it's a lot longer than that. I reached out. He took delivery. He took delivery in, February, I think, December. March? I don't know. It's been no, a long time. I think time. December. He's been talking about it. Yeah. I reached out to Kai. What did he say? It looked just. He said the order didn't come with carbon fiber. But it seems like, and I don't know what, didn't he get. That's what Kai told That's me. what Kai said? Kai said it didn't come with carbon fiber. Oh, like the build? The build. 
I, I wonder, sometimes I wonder, Joey B, like, I don't know about what Sioka did to you there, but it sounds like they might have played games with you. I don't know. I mean, I just, um, I just spoke the kind of day. It wasn't about that, but. Let's see. I mean, you would think whoever he got the car from, which I thought he said was Sioka, can figure this out. I mean, it's going to be ridiculous at some point. You getting texts? No, I no, got that's one. Not me. Oh, okay. Since November, he's been waiting. He's been waiting almost a year. Jeez. Joey B, Clarence has the hookups at GM. Our cars were built the same time, but uh, something guys have hooked him up. And according, and according to what my source says right here, he said, honestly, I am going to say there is a miscommunication. All that stuff was installed at the factory. We literally cannot ship out a car without those parts included. So if it's on his build so sheet, So if it's on though, his build sheet, then he's saying is there should have been on his car. Right, there's a well, mistake. He's saying there's... It wasn't on the build sheet. Maybe it's on a bill sheet, which is why his car was shipped out. Because mine was on my bill sheet. That makes sense. So it was sense. put on my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. So I, I asked for him. I'm sorry, Joe. I did ask for you. Um. Yeah, that's... I'm sorry, Joey. That sucks. Does he have his bill sheet? He must. I think that's what I sent you. Didn't I send you something like that? A bill sheet? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, um, I hope you get that worked out. I hope you can get that... Because you paid for it. So he has... I would he like paid to a ton of money for that stuff. Yeah. Rear end? Yeah. No, he has... No uh, front splitter. I think that's it. Just the front splitter and the and the rear wing. What rear wing? Like on like what's the, the what Z07 is it, rear wing? What does it look like right now? There is no. There's nothing there. Yeah, but I, here's Clarence why I would almost disagree with what he just told you because we know people. I know people. One of my buddies got his high wing Stingray in, and it didn't have the wing ship with it, so they had to keep the car there for like a week or two, and then the wing came later, so they didn't let the car, the car left without that. Rear I don't know. That sucks. Spoiler though. on it. I don't know. That totally sucks. Uh, like you say, there's some miscommunication. It just seems someone's got to be able to figure that out for him. <clears throat> I think that would be a dealership thing, right? Yeah. That's oh, yeah. who built the car. Yeah. It I mean, look, at this point, you got you to sense his frustration. You paid a lot of money for the carbon fiber. It's like, give me my uh, give yeah. me my parts. Yeah, yeah. Plus, your car looks silly without it. So, yeah. should we build a uh, Z06? Yeah. Okay, let's build a Z06, guys. And why, why Mike's getting that ready, if people have been calling around or, or asking their dealers on the E-Rays, I'm curious what people are hearing they're being told the additional dealer markup is. I think like, it's going to be the same. I think so, too. I think it's going to be the same. I've, I've heard a 10 and a 15 number. Oh, uh, that's not, I mean, 10 and 15. But, that, but honestly, honestly that, that, that number is several months old, though. Yeah. That's what I heard six yeah. months ago. So I, I yeah. don't know. But. I think you guys are right. I think it's going to be the same. I, I think, think it's going to be the same. Yeah. And actually, I wanted to talk about that too. Like what your guys' opinion was on that. Um, because I think when it comes down to it for the first probably four or five months before people really get a good feel for what the E-Ray is, I think the Z06's value is going to hold better than that E-Ray. Then once people figure out what the E-Ray is and they're like, whoa, this thing is you know, really cool. I think that's when the E-Ray value might kind of come up close to a Z06 and they'll be holding the value better and dealerships will probably be able to ask more markup for them. You think so? I, I do. There's too many people. I ran into people just, I said this on the last live, but just down in Bastrop when I was yeah. at that invasion, mm -hmm. people walked up to me and said, I can't believe you want a fully yeah. electric Corvette. Yeah. No, seriously. Someone on the, on here earlier said the same thing. And yeah. Derek, our friend Derek, I talked to him earlier yeah. on the phone. He said to me, I'm like, I didn't even say anything. I'm like, dude, you know better than this. He thought it was all electric too. Yeah. This is about three you, days ago. I'm telling you, people are scared of what they don't understand and what they don't know. And a lot of people think this thing is fully electric. Mm -mm. So that's going to hurt the value at first. That's going to, that's the reason why. You know, I've had comments on here from people that own dealerships. That yeah, are, it's or, a, it's going to take about two weeks since people start seeing them and they hear it. And somebody, oh, there goes the Z06. No, that's an E-Ray. What? Yeah. 
I hear, I hear, I hear engine noise. Well, it's not yeah, going yeah. to yeah. sound like the Z06 at all. No, 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 no not, not at all. Close. But You're, it's going to look like one. It's going to look, gonna like look just it's gonna like have one. Sound coming out the rear it of will an have engine sound of the LT2. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to hear the like when you just use the electric alone, it's loud. Yeah, it has a unique sound to it. So people are going to be like, "What the? That's a Corvette." You know, when they hear it pull up at like a valet or something, and it's only electric. I mean, because uh, I don't hear anything out of Tesla when they pull it up. Oh, you, some of them. You they do, all yeah. make noise. Yeah. They all, by law, have to make noise. Not that type of noise. I feel like I heard that the E Ray was loud. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a, but no, some of them, noise. some are definitely loud. I heard a car the other day. I don't know what it was. It was some sort of EV car. It was in a parking lot backing up, and I was like, "Dang, that sounds like a spaceship." It was yeah. loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was loud. Yep. I was like, yep. "Be right." Teslas generally aren't that loud. Not that loud, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and just try and build something like crazy expensive. See if we can get a Z06 to 200K. So we're going to go with the convertible, obviously. Our buddy Lou is really hating on the E-Ray. He's like a total junk. Who's Lou? Lou. Lou Hawk. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's a hater. Well, well, Lou, that's okay. You're, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. We'll see what happens when I get mine. We'll see what happens. Maybe it won't. You know, maybe it won't impress me, but I think it will. Um, let's go see Wolf Gray. How does that sound? Sure. And you want to put some stripes on it? You want to do blue stripes? This one? Full link blue? No. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Let's do that. Looks good. Let's do that. Okay, wheels. We obviously have to put the $13,500 wheels on them <laughs> right here. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Do, do they have a blue stripe <laughs> wheel? Or just red? Uh, no, just red. Just red. Just red. For some reason, I thought I saw a picture somewhere that had a blue. So, one. calipers, obviously red. We're up to 157,000, and we haven't even gotten to any. Well, we have done the carbon fiber there, but we haven't gotten to well, any wait, other. Did you, did you talk about that wheel difference with the stripe here? What are you talking about? The let's the thirty the thirty five hundred dollars. Oh no, let's talk about it. Because that, that still blows my it. mind. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Well, it's not thirty five hundred, I guess, because Well no, but it's still it's significant. This more. is painted. Okay? Yeah. But still, it is fifteen hundred more than you're paying fifteen hundred dollars for a stripe, ladies and gentlemen. The red stripe on the wheels is fifteen hundred dollars. That's ridiculous. That's crazy talk. All right. I guess Chevrolet think that they actually own Ferrari. Well, but it's the same difference. <laughs> it's just like the seatbelts, the upcharge for that. We all know there's no difference in cost between a red seatbelt and a black seatbelt. Not even close. There's zero. Should be not even close. But it's a way to make money. It's 100% margin for them. Yeah. That's all why right. I refuse to get black seatbelts. Might as well have some fun. Right. So you cannot actually, I'm going to change the color of the seats because you can't go with competition seats if you get this color of seat. Really? No. Nope. So, well, maybe you can't. No, let's, you definitely let's try can't. Let's try you it. definitely let's try can't. Cause I've seen okay, it. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I think it does change the okay. part a little bit. Yeah, I think it does too. My bad. So we got competition seats. Oh, yeah, that, that looks good. All right. 158000 Packages. Here's where it's going to... No, no, no. This doesn't get expensive because it's just... Oh, wait. Yes, it does. I'm thinking of E-Ray still. Z07. This is where it gets real expensive. Okay, this is going to add about 20K. Jeez. <laughs> oh, it only added 11K. That's How did it lot. only add 11K? That's, I should have added about 20K. Did you actually add the Z07? Yeah. Is that your phone or mine? That's not mine. It's oh, mine. Oh, oh okay. Not never about break. All right, let's go to options. Is that yours? No, that's not mine. Oh, that's this not, is not mine. mine. I, my phone never bri- vibrates. There we go. Ever. Okay. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right. Now we are uh, in the interior options, and we're going to go ahead and do the personalized plaque. I like that. Yep. Do you I wish you would have done that? No. No? <laughs> the Z06 is already expensive. I did a okay. personal plaque in my steam rack. I didn't feel any better about the car or any less about the car. Stealth interior, carbon fiber. Actually, we're going to go with I've got a label, label maker. Two. I'll charge you 100 bucks. I'll make you one. <laughs> okay, General Motors. <laughs> okay, just off of the interior stuff now, we're at 175 For an E-Ray? 
no, no, no this, is a, this is a Z06. Oh, I was about to say. All right, next we're going to go ahead with the... Might as well add the black lug nuts for 250 bucks. Where Adam. are those at? Oh, right there. Adam. Yeah, but that's not really... No. Maybe we won't be able to get up to the price I was thinking we were going to get up to. I mean, I would like a car cover. We'll get the nacelles in the roof just to add another 1300 Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because you hadn't added that part yet. Uh Oh, yeah, it's down here. That's why I didn't add twenty Under grand. Oh. oh no, that's no, because no. it already added it, so that is on there. So it, it's really not like I thought it was going to be. Well, because you got the brakes. Well, that's in the package. Yeah, right. that's in the package. You wait, wait. You got to do front lift, black exhaust. Yeah, I did that. We'll we'll do a no. We're not going to do that. So. Uh, I guess we could add this, the engine appearance thing. Oh, I like that. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Do you like it, Clarence? Did we talked about know. that last week. Mm -mm. You were you were late to the party. Mm -hmm. Mike hates it. The engine appearance package. Yeah, yeah. I'm out for the Z06. Yeah, I like it. I'm no, I'm it. talking about the convertible. Yeah, we were talking about that. That's what we're talking about. I like it, right? The convertible, the glass. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I'll be fine with that. Yeah, yeah. If if Shelly came if Shelly came out with something that legit looks good as I've been talking to the engineers about it and they it specifically told me they were doing this and no, it does. I it sent looks... them pictures of other people that was doing it. they said they was going to look better if it looks better I'm down for it why not I, I asked Jim and Motors about this three four years ago and the first thing the engineer said to me behind closed doors that we're going to create this three so, four years from now so that's interesting we were only able to get it to 181 that's still expensive oh I don't I, I agree but I just can't believe it didn't get higher it will in two years. When the when we were able to get the freaking Stingray up to 138. I mean, that's still a big gap between the two, though. Well, I know, but I'm saying, like, when when uh, the Stingray first came out, I used to build and build and build, trying to get it up to, like, as high as I could. And I think the highest I ever got to was, like, 108 or 111 or something like that. Oh, wow. So to be able to get, like, almost 30,000 more than that, you would think that the Z06 would have the ability to get you know, way up there, but yeah, still 181 is not a cheap car. No, that ZR1 <laughs> is going to be expensive, and Zara oh, is going to be really limited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zara is going to be that car. All right, so there you go. There is the $181,000 3LZ Z06 we just built. And if the dealership charges the old man MSRP for that, you will be paying to something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And taxes. So, oh, yeah. And gas. Goes. Pretty oh, cool yeah. build, I would think. All right. We have 245 people in here. If you have not smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. Really helps YouTube know that you are enjoying the content and they will put it all over YouTube. Do it for Clarence. Do it for Clarence. That's right. He's not even supposed to be All right. Here. Let's go ahead and get to some questions. Um, like red stripe wheels with blue stripe does not work. I might yeah. be on the channel. No, I mean, a blue stripe around that wheel would work with blue calipers and that build that we did. I think that would look good. Uh, but they don't allow you to get blue calipers because it's not a ZR1. You know? They must be saving it for the ZR1, the blue calipers. Yeah, they, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Always. Always. Always, always, always. That's what they say. Uh, e Ray I built was around 158k. Good work, Andrew. <laughs> that's Jeez. that's quite the E Ray. Yeah, he's got some good e but that might be Canadian dollars too. And they got no, 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 no. That's Andrew Simple Cooking. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, that's that's here. So that's a that's a hefty build. Uh, Daily Electrician, he's here. He's late. What's the punishment? <laughs> Time out. I love it. <laughs> the punishment, real quick. For those who are just joining, is now the six-month window that you have to keep your car if you buy the new E-Ray or the new Z06. No longer rewards you after that six months with 500,000 bonus GM reward points and $5,000. So that used to be a thing. It's no longer a thing. Yeah, and back to that part of the conversation, I feel like with the dealers, you're always going to have, you're going to have MSRP dealers and they hold their ground. And then you have the others that, that waver. And I think the point is with oh. the E-Ray and even the Z06, they're not going to charge 5,000 over. If they're going to charge five over, they're going to charge 25 over, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're going to do it, 
go big. And the dealers are seeing that, especially with the E-Ray, because that's the only way you can get one because another person can't buy it and turn around and sell it to help basically keep putting supply into the market. Right. So they have all the leverage to get the big money right. over sticker. Right. Which kind of goes back to maybe hidden – does GM maybe wants that for the dealers? If anyone's going to take advantage of the market, maybe the dealers should take advantage of it because it comes down to supply and demand. People are willing to pay a premium one way or another. Well, the more that people are willing to pay on MSRP, the more that tells Chevrolet, hey, we can charge a little bit more. These guys are going to pay it to right. the dealerships. We're going to get our cut. The dealerships right. going to do what they want to do anyway. Right. So right. I think that's what it really boils down to for Chevrolet. Right. So, guys, I got an interesting text message here. Oh, good. This is from the GM or high-up manager of the dealership that I bought my Camaro. Okay? Mm -hmm. He says, hey, it's Chris at Huffines. I'm listening now. Great program. A topic that is growing now is contract negotiations between the manufacturers and the UAW. Mm -hmm. If the UAW strikes towards the end of the year, it will not be good for an already limited production climate. So he just wanted to chime in and no, let he, me know he, that that's he's, a growing he's, topic. He's 100% right. I heard, September, I heard September 15th is the date. That, that is, oh, I don't know enough about this. If that's the first date they could strike, but I heard the number is September 15th, the date. So not be good in the sense of... Well, they won't be making cars. Right, I know that part. Yeah. So will that increase the value <laughs> of the cars that are already out? Oh, yeah. They have to. So yeah. my Z06 is going to go from whatever I pay for yes, to... Sir. I mean, you put you right back into the 2020, 2021 situation where people want the cars, and now if you thought you were going to get a car like me, I think I'm going to get one September, October. If that were to happen, maybe that gets pushed out to January, February, March. Right, oh. because everything gets reset. So even my order is accepted. Maybe as of tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's just sitting there. There's no one there to build the cars. They're all on strike. I'll build it for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if you'll want it after I finish building it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put black nuts on one side and silver on the other. <laughs> you have a car though. Yeah, yeah. So General Lee wants me to show his calipers. So what do you do? Gonna, They're sweet. Your wish is my command. Did he get them custom done? Mm-hmm. They're Wait, nice. Maybe. When did he do that? Just now? No. Uh, no. They're nice, nice. Yeah, they're really nice. They're nice. Um, he might be stealing them. I, I might have to steal his idea, although I had the same idea on something they're else. Nice. No, they're not your idea. Okay. Yeah, they're not your idea. Um, let me let me try and get them pulled up here, guys. Mr. Clarence, remind me before you leave tonight. I have an idea for my car okay, that I don't think you. anyone's done before. I want to get your opinion. Yeah, my those I'm really good with ideas. Okay, what about telling everyone? No, about like <laughs> good ideas of like like car related stuff. Okay, and stuff like that. I, I have an idea, and I think it, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, that's what he just said back. Yeah, and, and we just saw like UPS. Right now, they're going back and forth with union, their union on striking or not striking. UPS? UPS. Well, you, Which, you, they're you definitely know union, yeah. That's going to be our trivia question for today. Okay. Because I have a it? question that's going to blow your mind. No, I don't want to say it yet because people are going to start oh, Googling. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, have a qu I have a question related to a strike in UPS. We'll, we'll get to it when we get there. Okay, wanna, we're, we're going to show his calipers. General Lee, I hope you're excited because here they come. Just had to put them in my program here. And I need to refresh this real quick and then they will be popping up. Somebody oh, UPS settled. Yeah, I know they were going back and forth. But did they actually settle though? Because there was an initial talk saying they settled and then they came right back and said, well, hold on a second. We're not at full. I don't know if that settled today. I should have been paying attention. That's the other thing with these 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 negotiation talks is a lot of this happens like they think they've came to a deal and then it doesn't you know it gets pushed out yeah. pushed out. I mean, every, I mean, everything everybody's striking somewhere, right? Everybody wants more money. Yeah, Los Angeles actors. That's true. Actors are striking, holding up those picket signs, and they got like famous actors out there with them too. And then you know if this one happens oh, in September and in the UPS. UPS would be a big photos. deal if they striked. All oh, right. yeah. Huge deal. Well, abs absolutely. All right. We've got to go through a couple of photos here to get to it, but then we'll be to it right here. All right. So this is General Lee's car. And you see white inside 
Oh. That's tough. That's different. There's his new calipers. Interesting. <laughs> and then I can't tell, is it in blue, the like the Z06 part on the caliper? Uh, there's, some, there's something on there, right? He sent me a picture of him. I can take a quick look. I don't think. There's yeah, a he's closer. Got, yeah. He's got something on there. I don't know. Let us know, Greg. I Let's, got you. <laughs> no, his car is cool. It's definitely oh, it, it's totally yeah. one of a kind now. I agree. 100%. No, it's in black. Z06 you know what would be cool generally? We could get you some really cool forged light wheels and some cool color. I mean, they could make this car just we could. over the top. I don't think he'll say no to that. You hear me? The Z06 is in black. It's not in blue. Oh, okay. I just looked it up. Can you see me pictures of it too? Well, good job, General Lee. I, I know I already told you that on a text, but very good job. Very, very nice. Yeah, he's the first one I've seen do that. that me good. too. First one. And he wins shows all the time with his car. Like he did with uh, Blue Ice number one, his uh, Grand Sport. He had trophies galore. And I'm sure he's going to do the same with this car. Yeah, and he's enjoying his car. I bet you he has over 3,000 miles on it now. Yeah, yeah. Lou Hawk like those. <laughs> um, Elijah Ray is on. Nice. And uh, Mark is on. Why Envy? Good work. Elijah, put your Instagram page on there so people can. He's got new wheels that are really cute. He's one of kind of wheels on his C8, too. Yeah. Like black and gold. Look good. Yeah, and they're a yeah. different style. Oh, you know they're what cool. I need to also do? Man, my brain. I need to remember this stuff better. So, Clarence, what was your rating of the barbecue tonight? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> it was okay. I mean, it like a okay. six and a half, seven, <laughs> seven and a half, eight, six. Really? He's a harsh judge. I am a harsh judge, though. I'm a foodie, <laughs> man. I'm fat for a reason. You're fat. Hmm. Huh. I would go back there, though. Okay, okay. So, did you like that better than uh, Heart Eight or Heart Eight better? I like Heart Eight better. Wow. All right. There, don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to settle this. We're going to have to settle this after the show. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I leave early, please? <laughs> I feel like you didn't try enough stuff. I agree with that. Okay, I'll give you that. You know what? Next time, we'll do it family style. On you. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great comeback. <laughs> you know that what? I'll great. do that just for you. We'll, we'll do we'll do family style, and we'll get we'll get a little bit of everything. Okay. Hey, so you can sample it while while he's offering family style. You guys might as well come too. You can. I mean, freaking yeah. amazing. Um, so Scott Grendel has his wheels on his car. Scott Grendel was oh, yeah, the yeah, winner. Yeah. Did you not show that last week, or we just talked about it two weeks ago? No, no, no. We didn't have it last week. Okay. We have it this week. Check it out. Yeah, his Those cars. are the MC5 carbon flash on his Torch Red C8 mm. with the front splitter, the Z06 side rocker, the high wing, and he also has the ACS rear diffusers in the back. Now, in this picture, he doesn't have the R1 concept brakes on yet. He just yet. hasn't put them on yet. Yeah. He, he just hasn't put them on yet, but... I'm a big yes. fan of that rear uh, spoiler in red when they do that. I think yeah. that looks great. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah, it does look nice. But I think you can do it in what? Red and white? And and maybe I think blue, rapid blue? I feel like I've seen a yeah, rapid blue one. Not rapid blue, uh, Elkhart Lake blue. Elkhart. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were to do, I would totally do that. Yeah. I think it looks well, so good. You know, one thing I love about the Stingray, and I hope this doesn't go against anybody who owns the C7 Stingray. What I love about the C8 Stingray is even though the Z06 is existing and the E Ray will be coming out soon. The Stingray C8 still just looks good in the parking lot. It, the, the wide body, but then you compare that to like a C7 Stingray. Just a base C7, and yeah. base C7 Stingray compared to a Z06 C, C7, they don't look the same. No. It's just like night and day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The C8 Stingray base. You, you can, really honestly, good. and I've done this, I've legitimately walked by a Z06 next to other just regular C8 Stingrays, and I just didn't even realize it. You, Wait, say that again? There was a, a new Z06 parked multiple C8 stingrays around it and I walked by I didn't even realize it yeah. where at Corvette World oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah remember yeah, last yeah. time that was there yeah, like, the there's, a, there's a 70 I'm like where yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah, I just yeah. walked back yeah. and forth by that two times now yeah. that surprises yeah. me that, 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 that says a lot to me 
That surprises me. That says a lot to but me. But what I do have to say is uh, that when we put our cars like this, your Grand Sport C7 and my C8, my C8 looked just as wide. Yeah. Yeah. They look like the same way. The way the yeah. door, it definitely, yeah, yeah no, it's different. Yeah, I, that's why I agree with Clarence. There's, there's something uh, yeah, different. Yeah, I... Trevor, my bad, my bad. I got to show those two. Okay, while we're doing that, let's do our <laughs> let's do our question, and we'll do a yeah. shirt. Just and whoever wins, you just tell us what size. We'll fit. We've got different shirts. We're still. If somebody wants it, uh, we've got. Thank you for the super chat, Trevor. Okay, extra large um, C eight C eight R shirt. We have. Oh, what else we got? We got a BOS size large. We've got. Oh, we got multiple shirts, so whatever size, whoever wins. But here's the question: If everyone's ready, how many how many packages does UPS process per day? Go. Dang, that's, that's hard. Question. Think about how many packages come to our houses and other people's houses. How many packages per day? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. You don't want to give away a shirt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think about. <laughs> uh, man, I, you guys I see, have me working I see tonight. some people putting in answers that are pretty close. Good. It's. I was shocked. I guess maybe not so shocked when you think about it, but you're like, man, that's a lot of packages to keep track of. Guys, we yeah. have a lot of people in here. Please smash the thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Uh, so we're going to let this go until he pulls up the wheels, and then we'll stop it. So get on Google or Alexa. His, his wheels are amazing. Yeah. I haven't seen him in person. You got to see him. They're amazing. They're amazing. I want them for my grand sport. Trevor, I wish I had a better picture of your car. I have videos of your car. Do you have a picture of his car, Clarence? Uh, let me see. I'm not um, trying to be a stalker's guy, but I may have. Did I not? S oh, there it is. There it is. I mean, these will do it justice. No, I don't have a picture of it. Just, just it for justice. the record of the question, it's not billions. That's way too crazy. So it's less than a billion. <laughs> All right, let's put... Whoops. I have a video. That's not going to work. Clarence, you can give an answer. I'll give you a shirt if you win it. What, what do you think it is? How many packages? Mm-hmm. A day, a day that UPS processes. Handles. Yeah, this is globally, so it's. A, I mean, you know, think about it. Oops. All right, here we go. Here's okay. One hundred and ninety-five. Okay, I'm gonna do stop. All right, guys. Trevor's absolutely beautiful. Those joints are nice. Forge light wheels, two piece. I think these are D elevens. No, they're actually, they're the MC20s. They're the same no, as mine. No, that's yeah. not MC20s. No, no, no. They're D-something. Oh, no, no, DC20. Aren't those the exact same as mine? No. no those are different. No, those are totally they're different. They're nice. I think those are the 10s. And, they're, and he'll say the color. The color is, oh my gosh, the color is amazing. The, the face is a satin graphite something. Nice. And then the purple, uh, look at this. This is the car. I mean, this is not a great picture. It's it's hard to it's really tell. Yeah, it's dark. You need the sun on it. Yeah, but Trevor, you still owe me a ride <laughs> and a dollar. They are absolutely beautiful wheels. I will say that absolutely beautiful. Randall Swanson, thank you very much for the super sticker. Appreciate it. If you have a comment, let us know. Um, Unfortunately, on the super sticker, you can't put a comment, but on the super chat, you can. But let us know anyway. We'll we'll get to it immediately. Okay, so I stopped. Ooh, some. I, okay, I see there. Some here's the first one that got it. I see it here now. What do you guys think? UPS packages per day? Just throw it out there. It's got to be in the millions. Sure. Um, I'm going to say ten million. Forty-two million. Myron Wells won it. He guessed it exactly. He must have got on his Google quickly. 22 million. Wow. 
So Myron Wells. Awesome. Congratulations, Myron. Shoot us an email. BOS. Yep. Uh, what's your email? 2020. 2020. C8 at gmail.com. You need to change your email. Now, the question is how many of them actually get delivered to the right place? 2023 C8. Actually, 2024 E-Ray. Huh? How many of them get delivered to the right place? Exactly. They're pretty good. So I wonder with UPS, FedEx, uh, post office, and um, what's the other one? Uh, well, you have DHL. DHL. I wonder how many that is. All those combined. Well, and Amazon is their own. Oh yeah, Amazon. I would like. To, I, I should Google it. What, how many packages does Amazon do? It's got to be the same or more. I don't know. James Grimm says Google showed many different amounts. Well, we're going with mine. Um. Yeah. Am. Uh. Andrew said Amazon is 85%. I think that's what he's saying. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, Jeff Bezos is good for life. I just heard recently, though, that he is getting rid of all of his brick and mortar places around in many countries. Have you heard that? What do you mean, brick and mortar? He's shutting them down. Like the distribution like centers? The, like, no, 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 no. The places that, like... Um, oh, that they they started like to set the up. Amazon yeah. sell retail stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're getting rid of them. No, they only did that just to get the word. That was a short lived. Yeah. So yeah, um, congratulations. Shoot me an email. Let me know your size and uh, where to ship it to, and we'll ship you out a shirt. You know who I haven't seen on here tonight is mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Rapp. Mm-hmm. He must have had something going on. He never misses the show. <laughs> Somebody so, said, how many of those are stolen by porch pirates? <laughs> oh, the packages? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what did you guys think of Trevor's wheels? I like them. Generally, yeah. there's some motivation, maybe. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Um, I've got some wheels coming for my Camaro, and I'm having a hard decision right now. Really hard decision, but it's going to look good. It's going to look yeah. really good. So, anything you want to go over? No. We still got a couple minutes. We can do some questions from people. Yeah, no, yeah. no one really chimed I in. Travis still owed me a dollar. Oh, yeah. He says that. Just a dollar a day can help Clarence. He, he Travis still owes me a dollar. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious on Friday. <laughs> oh, I didn't laugh. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made you laugh in that video. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a great time. It's been so awesome having uh, Clarence here for a whole week. It's and been what hot. A, what a great surprise. <laughs> it's been hot. I got a tan. Yep, you yeah. You did, that. actually. I yeah, no, I did. I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> He's experienced the hot heat of Texas. Yeah. What's well, a bummer? You dragged that thing all the way here, that front splitter, and we didn't get to put it on. I know. Well, I know. Yeah. I yeah. know. I got to take it all the way back on my passenger side, rubbing it all the way back home, <laughs> wishing you was on the car. E Ray Torque, do you add? Uh, e Ray Torque is four ninety or uh, five ninety five. Sorry, Kerry Glock. It is five ninety five. Did he just get on here? Hmm. Or has has Kerry no, Carrie, been, been on there? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I I just I miss people. I don't see them all. Um. Any any other questions here? Where are you guys located? I live by Street Speed. Thinking of starting up my own channel once my C8 and Lotus Amira arrive, and would love to meet you guys. Sending love from Pennsylvania. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, we live in Dallas, Texas area. He lives in North Carolina area. I live in my Z06. That's true. <laughs> in the North Carolina area. <laughs> um, well, come to uh, Corvettes of Carlisle in August, at the very end of August, and we'll be there. We can meet you. Yeah. With my Z06. Mike, if you were given the choice of E-Ray or Z06, money isn't a factor. Z06 all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. That's a no-brainer. Why? Uh, a couple reasons. Number one, the sound. 
Okay. Number two, the lighter and handling of the Z06. And I kind of am a Z06 snob. I mean, not really anymore, but my first three vets were Z06s. So the E Ray or the, the Stingray kind of, the C8 Stingray kind of broke me of that because it's so good. You know, yeah, I, I was I was kind of expecting it not to be as good as it was, and it blew my mind. True, but Bruno asked, "Do we have a Carlisle location yet for Carlisle?" Uh, sort of. So kinda. yeah, d- if you know Carlisle, um, where Adams Polishes used to be, so say like this is Adams Polishes. Here's the road. This is their front. We're gonna be across the road, caddy corner about right here to where they used to be. Uh, Adam Polishes moved, though, all the way over past, like, the food and everything to where McGuire's was last year with the big semi Mm -hmm. um, and that really pretty C8 that they had all done up. Mm -hmm. I think that was McGuire. Yeah, that was McGuire's. Um, So I'm not sure why they moved, but they did, but we're over there. Is that next to the Chevrolet tent? No, we're very, we are. We yeah, are, we're we are. very yeah, close yeah, yeah, to Chevrolet's yeah. tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's a good location. It's nothing like last year where you had to come out to the middle of nowhere to find us. Speaking of which, so Trevor's teasing us about the tent. I haven't seen the tent. Did you see it when you were over there? I did not. All right. Send us a picture. And a dollar. <laughs> Larry Anthony just got on, yep. too. And he says he's saying hi to all three of us and nice. our special guest, Clarence. Let's go! <laughs> uh, he even said it on there. Let's go. <laughs> what's what's up, is, Larry? is Larry coming out to Carlisle? Has he ever he, been out? He can't. Oh, he's too busy? Yeah, he's got stuff going. Um, let's see. <laughs> Good work, General Lee, for asking him that question. How many miles on the Z06, Larry? I'm going to say 350. No, he's got more than that, I bet. It's broken in. I'm going to say it's I'm going to say 350. In. Larry, if it's not broken in, shame, shame, shame. How many of the miles, Mr. Larry? you got to hit that 8,600 RPM and hear that thing scream. I'm so going to get you all excited. 365. Oh. Boom. Oh, my gosh. What? I Come on, I'm Larry! Good at numbers. The only numbers I'm not good at guessing. Is apparently, the I need to drive. Apparently, I need to go out there and drive it for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, daily electrician guess. Oh, by the way, daily electrician, how many miles do you have on your brand new C8? I'm guessing thousands. I don't want to guess that one. I'm, Why not? I'm gonna be wrong. I'm guessing he's like three to four thousand miles already. Jeffrey from Zippy's Garage just got on, too. Unless he's saying 351 on his car, but I don't know. I, I just told you, 3530. See, there you go. Um, I I really like your new Instagram post with you all dressed up in a suit. Looks good, man. You had some, he had some real professional pro- pictures Show me his taken. page. I don't know his page. Oh, yeah. Oh, those it's awesome. Those are nice. Those yeah, are it's nice. awesome. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's, those, he's driving to Carl. Is he driving to Carl? He talked about it. He's right? driving to Carlisle, which is thousands of miles, right? He's in like Seattle or right. something. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, I'm out. It's crazy. I You're welcome, drive, man. But geez. Come see us at Carlisle. Yeah, Elijah Ray, he's got 10,000. He daily drives his. He's got 10,000 miles. Good. It's a good car. Steam Ray is a really great car to, to daily drive. Heck for yeah. Sure. I mean, you definitely Heck can. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 1,000. I mean, you can daily drive to Z06 too. Sure. You might oh, get yeah. a couple of speeding tickets, but well, it sounds <laughs> at some like point, you per, get, per you, you go through gas like crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, man, what do you think? You get 12 miles a gallon? 11 miles a gallon? 10? I think it's like 13. So right around there. Yeah, because, yeah. man, I mean, I when I'm in my Z06, I, I drive it every time. Every time. And I just love the paddle shifting. I love the manual mode. I love when the girl's like, down, <laughs> <you're> down shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um. Yeah, so good job, Daily Electrician. Love it. I hit 800 tonight. Z mode crackling and popping awesome. Dang, Joey, he's had his, hit, his since November and he only hit 800. 800 miles? How many miles do you have on yours? Well, already, he told us last week. 1675. Yeah. I haven't been home since. 
I know, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> Unless somebody else is driving it. I but that's know. awesome. And you've had yours, what, three months? Since April. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, I probably have more miles on it by now, but I wouldn't be able to stop driving that car. I mean, I've been out here for a week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Eating barbecue and burning up. Can you imagine if you would have brought that, even if you had trailered it, how many miles we would have put on it last week? I don't know if he'd let me. We would have we would have coated it up for you, put underdog on it. Yeah, that's part of it. Would have been great. Should have said I would have traded it out here. Uh, Lewis says seven hundred and thirty on new motor. So are yeah, you boy. the one that had the motor that blew up? And the stingray or Z06? No, Z06. What happened? Other than blowing up, like did they say what was wrong? I don't know. Well, Joey B had uh, knee surgery, so that's justifiable. Waiting for PPF. So if that awesome. does happen, if they put a new motor in, similar to your transmission issue, they probably do bump your warranty, right? Yes. I would think so. They bump your warranty, but you also devalue your car a little bit, too. Yeah. It shows up on a Carfax report. Unless you have a special person buy it that doesn't care. Unless you hit Rick Hendrick. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a bummer, for sure. You're right. Yeah. Cause oh, yeah, 1,000%. All right, well, let's wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. If you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. If you're new on the channel for the very first time, we do this every Wednesday night. It's called Octane Hour, and it's at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you don't want to miss it and you want to get notified, make sure to smash the red subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified. But uh, I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your night. And we'll see you guys on the next Octane Hour. I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs>